so I have a problem. There's a kid that lives nearby me, and he's really annoying. He keeps coming into my garage to steal all my Halloween candy. I'm afraid he'll get lucky one time and find my stash. So I was thinking how to solve this problem, and I thought I was going to use spare parts to create an alarm of some sort or a safety device that I'll keep my Halloween candy in my own hands. So the materials I have is a 9 volt battery, uh, some foil, um, this buzzer component I got out of the local Maker Fair, this piece of wood and found in my bush, and these two magnets. Let's make it work. Okay, so now let's take apart this thing without damaging any of the wires, shall we? Alright, got the first nut off. There we go. Okay, so what we got here is um I think that basically what we've what we drew before, but it's on the board. I'm assuming that means that we're correct, so let's continue taking this apart. Alright, got the sec second one off. There we go. Alright, let me keep these in a safe place. So, what we've got here is exactly what I assumed. Um, this battery part is where the 9 volt battery goes. Um, this wire got off, so I took it off so that um, the circuit would not be complete. But this connects to um, another, uh, like a this part, which was like a small stick sort of thing that conducted the electricity to the other side of the circuit, which was the buzzer. And this LED, what light was just to show whether the um this component was on or off um using that circuitry i guess we can do the same exact thing but without the resistor all right so i assume that now we should cut off the wires where it was connecting to the circuit so we can reattach it when we need to um it's giving me a hard time here all right let's I got that. And the last one is off. Oh. Never mind. Um now it's off. Alright, so um we've got the circuit, but we've also got our separated buzzer and our um battery piece. And we'll worry worry about those later, but right now I wanna look at this. So how our circuit will work. The switch will work is that it'll be on or off based on whether these two magnets are together and the tin foil between them will act as a way to conduct the electricity that will be coming from the circuit so let's rip this in half and let's wrap these magnets shall we all right okay first magnet's done and so is the second one. All right, let's see if they connect. And they do. So what I was thinking was, we'll put like a business card between these two magnets and the magnets will be completing the circuit, but, and the business card will um, prevent the electricity from getting through. But the moment the business card is removed from the trip wire, the magnets come into contact and so does the foil and that'll complete the circuit. So let's leave those aside right now. Um, uh, this circuit we actually won't be needing anymore. So I'm just going to put that aside and let's look at our wood piece. So if we connect the battery and let's just, let's just dry run, let's just test it without connecting anything. Um, see if the buzzer and the and the battery work. So I'm just gonna try to. Well, obviously that's not working. So I'm gonna try to peel the uh, rubber on the wires.
Alright guys, I am back and I managed to get the insulation off the wires so we should be able to um, connect the battery to the buzzer to see if it works. So let's get this trial going. Um, I didn't want to tape anything up yet because I just wanted to see if the buzzer was working. Um, it was in my closet for a long time and I just wanted to make sure it's still alive and well. So let's check it out and... Okay, the buzzer works and it is alive and well. So we will be using both of these components for the final project. Um, Alright, so I tape these two together. So I just want to test if the taping works. So I'm going to test out the buzzer. Alright, it works. Now is the part that'll, um, is the actual part uh, of the project. So what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be connecting this to the foil and the um, battery components wire to the foil as well and then now we're gonna see if the foil um, translates the electricity through itself to the other magnet um, and we will be seeing if all of this was for nothing or was it actually gonna work so I'm just gonna um, put two pieces of tape and I might put another uh, video showing how it works or I might just do it in this video so um, we'll see all right I got the two pieces of tape all right now let's all right so once we connect this wire to the foil and the other one it should be working All right, so the tape is on the second magnet, and now we will see if when they come together, the buzzer will sound. Three, two, one. Well, that was pretty anticlimactic. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's open this up and see what's wrong. Okay, I think I figured out the problem. I think it just wasn't as close to the center as it should be. Um, let's try again. Hopefully this will work. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so I got it to work. And now we're gonna uh, create the tripwire and hopefully catch my annoying friend. All right, so we finished our mechanism. We've got everything working. So now we just need to create the tripwire. So I'm just gonna put all of these things away so we have a clear workspace. All right, so here is our two things for the tripwire. We have a card and we have some string. Obviously, this isn't the real tripwire. I'm gonna change it later. I'm just seeing if this works. So. Right now, we're gonna, just going to put a hole in this card.
And now I'm just gonna bring in the mechanism. All right, we've got this. Um, I made a little. I put a little um clear tape here because the wire kept on uh, bending, and I thought it was gonna break. So I apologize for not putting that in the video. But right now I'm just gonna put the card and the um the other magnet. Okay. And this is set. So now we have our mechanism and we have the trip wire. So the moment somebody walks through, or um, the moment um, the guy walks through to steal my candy, he's gonna trip on the trip wire. This is gonna pull, and the buzzer is gonna sound. All right. So I got my hot glue gun, and while it's heating up. I am going to take off this um, trial tripwire and I am going to be using this red th uh, thin string that I don't think he will be able to see. get to tape together the mechanism on this board so as you can see I tried before um, it did not work it all of it fell off because I was using tape so now we're gonna be using hot glue I think we should start off by putting on the battery um, okay Let's do it now. Okay, battery's on. Let's move on to the buzzer. Right there. Okay. Buzzer's on. And now we put on the magnet. But I think I'm gonna put on this one because it only has one wire and I think it's less of a hassle than the other one. <coughs> Excuse me. As you can see, yeah, you can see the foil from when I taped it before. I had put new foil on um, because it came off. So I'm just gonna put a layer of hot glue over this. And on it goes. Okay, there we go. Um, the mechanism, everything, the frame, it's all complete. Now let's see if it works. Okay, same sound as ever. <laughs> um, I think that all we have to do now is we just have to um, install it into my garage and catch my annoying thank you guys so much for watching the video if you guys like the video make sure to smash the subscribe button i'll be posting another one later today showing the burglar alarm in action if you guys really enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like as well thank you